Good morning, everyone. Now we have the 21st graduating batch entering the auditorium, led by our respected chairperson, madam, managing director, sir, honorable chief guest, our vice principal, our principal, and the department. Our distinguished chief guest, our chairperson, madam, our respected managing director, sir, our beloved principal, sir, and our vice principal, sir, all treasured invitees, respected teachers, and other dignitaries on and off the desk. Once again, I welcome you all. Graduation is here. You have come really far. Rejoice and be happy. Accept who you are. Understand, discover, and be true. The world is your canvas. New opportunity awaits you. Just walk through the door. Every moment is yours to explore. On behalf of the entire JKK Nataraja Dental College and Hospital, we, Rising Bronze, the host batch, welcome you all to.
for the 31st graduation ceremony. And now we invite Akshay Mishri, Puri, and Kalika to sing on the title. Thank you, sir. 
we are extremely overwhelmed to have all the dignitaries with us. Now we request our honorable chairperson, madam, to honor our distinguished chief guest, Dr. Sudhavan Sir, Chief Orthopedic Surgeon, London Ortho Speciality Hospital, Salem. It is a great pleasure being with you on this day for your graduation and uh, we should welcome our Suvana Doctor, London Orthopedic Speciality Hospital, a Chief Surgeon of Orthopedic and his wife and his Yaru and uh, parents who gathered here. HODs and my dear students who is gathered here for graduation and host people who is here with us. Today you are getting you are being graduated on this particular day with who are parents ordered in the Vandakuriga. I speak in Tamil because your parents are here with us. It is very nice you are being with us for all four years with us with the uh, five years and uh, it's a, like a more of family where you learn a lot with us how to ed educate you and uh, how fast the world is moving so we teach all that to for you when you go outside and live on your own you may go for even higher studies People who have finished higher studies, you have to have a lab or, or cleaning or you must be working somewhere. So all of you all should have a wonderful life where you have to live your life with your family and parents, wife, children and all that you should keep on going. Life is that. Life is not always very happy. But you can make your life very happy with just within you. You always should be courage. Never feel that the work what you are doing is very hard. Never think it's very hard. You always do your work like enjoy your work. That is what I do. I learn from my father. I enjoy my work. Whatever work I do, I enjoy. So only I can prove myself and her stand in front of you in the public, in the society and everywhere. So I, I want you to think that you can do each and every work what you are doing. Never say you cannot do it. We are humans. We should say we can do it. We will try always. Never say, oh, I can do it. I can do it. 
அப்படிங்கிற வார்த்தையே உங்ககிட்ட இருந்து வரக்கூடாது ஏன்னா இட் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் மஸ்ட் கேன் ட்ரை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் ட்ரை பண்ணி உங்களுக்கு வரலன்னா இட்ஸ் ஆல் ரைட் யூ கேன் டூ இட் செகண்ட் டைம் அண்ட் அச்சீவ் இட் அண்ட் யூ வில் அச்சீவ் இட் இட் இஸ் ஆல் வித்இன் யூ அண்ட் யுவர் மைண்ட் ஸோ ஐ கன்க்ராச்சுலேட் ஆல் த people who has gathered here for the camp convocation and who is going to next year with the person who has organized all this for them to I am telling you the same word the world is changing so even we have to change according to the world past we are moving thank you thank you ma'am here is a vision that we took initiative in transformation the profile of the institution the digital institution he is a gestful and known for emerging skills technology and artificial intelligence he defines the enduring significance in the upliftment of the institution he is an active social worker who is whose inspiration innovation and vision has guided us to find rights in the field of education we welcome our we welcome our respected managing director sir to facilitate the gathering respected chairperson the chief guest of the day dr c sugawana principal dignitary is on the dais of the dais it is a great pleasure to be here amongst the parents and students graduates for this uh, graduation day so as you can see it is the 31st convocation day so which means this is the 31st batch which is going out of this institution and uh, in this 31 years uh, so many uh, people have studied here practiced they have also taught over here they gone of all over the world through this we have the first batch student also to over here we have the 31st batch we have the 36th batch so you can see the long history of uh, this uh, entire uh, institution so we have uh, immediately an alumni function after this uh, we have the first batch student the first batch alumni uh, who, who is with the chief guest so that's why i'm referring to it so uh, so this the last 35 years have gone through a lot of transformation in the institution and in the world as the chairperson said there is a lot of transformation happening the world has changed you can see what happened before pre covid and post covid how things are different things have got more digital even dentistry many uh, right from appointment uh, appointment level uh, treatment level elabe going more digital so one thing uh, i think with the advent of 5g to 5g over the case lot of things will go augmented reality virtual reality mona va identity treatment pandrathu la vandrom so but what i would uh, give you some 10 points that you can think beyond dentistry what normally dentistry la enna pannuvanga they go uh, set up a clinic and uh, start practicing so that is one way that is the normally we do that so we need to see how we could go think of something like mobile dental clinics think on those lines uh then dental tourism you know in india there are many dentists but abroad there is a lot of uh, need for dentists so even if you are not going abroad at least you can bring people from abroad and bring them over here so there is a big scope for dental tourism which the government is also supporting so number 2 and then you can there is this thing called in dental concierge service a concierge service is a personalized on demand on demand dental service that allows patients to schedule appointments and receive dental care at the convenience so there is a need for this in cities 
again that's something you can explore then there is dental spas you have seen spas but there is there's some uh, in cities where you have dental spas coming up now so you can think of uh, setting up dental spas Tele dentistry is also picking up because of this 5G and so other the other technologies, augmented reality, virtual reality, dental education centers. Now with the with the next exam coming after your need now then when you exit out of BDS the next year I think probably the next exam is coming. Only when you complete your next exam you be able to go to the next. Uh, you go to practice in your career and the same can be used for post graduation also see if you can do something on the next exam whether you can train students on it that's a scope even if you cannot you can um, you can uh, start a center where you can train people on it then there's a thing called dental insurance also which is coming but uh, it's not yet picked up in India but in future it will pick up these are things you can just keep following and maybe someday you can use it in your life and then lot of products like I was talking to uh, the chief guest in the morning where they say Indian products are Indian machine equipments are uh, not only the last 10 years lot of equipments are being manufactured in India still there's so many which we import either from uh, you know US or mostly it's from China uh, I've seen some uh, people even from Madurai in Coimbatore and all who have started Manufacturing dental equipments. Dentists who have done MDS in Prosto, MDS in Ortho, they have started manufacturing their own. So that is something if you are really interested, you can do that. And then there's thing called dental marketing advertising. There, there's a lot of scope again over there. Dental staff maintenance for uh, broad uh, foreign countries is also another uh, uh, thing which you can do. So apart from just practicing, I know that people who have passed out from here, they are very good dental practitioners. They go out very confident because the number of clinical material that is the patients which they see over here, they don't get to see that many patients outside in other institutions. So they are able to go practice very confidently. We are trying to increase the number of patients over here, we are trying to increase it to 500 patients per day. But we find that some of the departments are not able to cope up with that much thing. So they are always they are starting to we start going to start new courses to manage those. Uh, we're going to start some fellowship courses which can uh, help students or people out, not just our students outside also where they can make use of this clinical material and gain more experience in maybe in root canal treatment in many or uh, any new technology, new procedures and so on. So, so it's a great uh, time for you. Uh, don't think that dentists, MBBS, but Jala are the success of our career. Dentists also can be there. So many have proved before and so many, so many more opportunities. Old opportunities, no new opportunities will come. So wish you all the best. Keep trying, keep working hard, keep updating yourself. These are some things which Lifelong learning is very important in the hour or now, lifelong learning there. So wish you all the best. I thank the chief guests and, uh, uh, and uh, others who have come, uh, uh, accompanying them for coming here in a short notice. I also uh, appreciate the uh, organizers who have taken this time uh, to organize this function and wish everyone uh, grand success in your career. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We now call upon Dr. Prem Kumar, sir, for introducing the today's chief guest, Dr. Thank you, Good morning, graduate students. It's my pleasure to introduce our chief speaker, a highly skilled and experienced surgeon who has graciously agreed to speak with, speak with us today. We are truly honored to have you, sir, with us today to share your insight and advice with our graduates. Your experience and knowledge will no doubt be valuable to all of us as our graduates embark on the next stage of their careers. Dr. C. Sumoda, hailing from a family of teachers, he graduated from Stanley Medical College, Chennai, in 1987. He did his master's in orthopedics at Bangalore Medical College. 
In a row, he also backed a fellowship in clinical arthroscopy in 1992 under the guidance of Dr. David Rajan at Panikur. In 1998, he also underwent a training program and completed FRCS and was a consultant at Dodger in Nalpati Hospital, England. His establishment in, in India started way back in 2000 by starting the knee unit at Ganga Hospital and KMCH Point Road. He established a 50 bedded London Doctor Specialty Hospital in Salem in 2009, heading the team providing high quality orthopedic service for people in and around South India 24 to 7. His team has introduced various new modern techniques for bone and joint problems to this region. The team has performed more than 10,000 orthopedic surgeries so far in their hospital. He is one of the pioneers in total knee replacement in Tamil Nadu. As an orthopedic surgeon, he plays a critical role in improving the lives of patients and advancing the field through his dedicated service to the patients. He is specialist in gap balancing, mobile bearing, endocrine, and total knee replacement surgeries. To his credit, he has performed more than 5,000 arthroplasty and 25,000 plus orthopedic procedures. He is also chief consultant at various multi specialty hospitals in India and the opera. He has been organizing fellowship program in orthopedy for past 15 years. He was also a guest speaker at various international conventions held in India, Malaysia, Australia and Russia. He has been conducted several conferences, conventions and symposiums at national and international level. He was also editor in charge, EC member and president of Tamil Nadu Orthopedic Association and Midwest Ortho Society. Last but not least, he is actively associated with Rotary Club, Salem. He is one of the major contributors and performer for free body surgeries at Pichu, Himalaya Foodies, and several community service projects even in the COVID periods. Without any further delay, we welcome you, sir. I request you to other others the gathered. Thank you. Respected the chairperson, the managing director of this prestigious institution, Dr. Ilanjarian, principal, Dr. Kavin, vice principal, and my friend, Dr. Pray Kumar, and all the faculties, staff associated with these great institutions, and the young budding graduates and postgraduates, more proud, glad to be here, parents. Petrovical, Ungoka, Purumbatinagal, Matramanevakum, Inia Kale I am happy to be here in this proud moment of nearly 100 families. It makes a lot of sense to make it as a life occasion in, in this particular day. You are a graduate now, you have graduated out. You are out of something and you are going to be in it. So you have put a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and you came to this beautiful campus as young, naive, native boys and girls, and now you are going to walk into the beautiful world as men and young ladies, and going to be a professional commitment to a particular way of life. So, it's better to have some understanding about how to be a, a decent, successful and effective professional. It's different from a, doing a jobs. The hard work you have put from, right from your school days has paid off. It's a culmination day. You can certainly be happy and proud. Uh, nearly two crore Indians taking plus two exams every year in this country, out of which only one person qualify out as a professional degree. So uh, you are already in the 1% of the top elite Indians 
in this country. So here you have got another milestone to go ahead and to uh, enjoy yourself. Never ever doubt yourself. You have already in the top 1% of the elite society of this uh, great country. Nutra Urutra Aiti, Adatha the Aira Clorora, Achatlora, Portakana, Kalgadigal, training in the Purutaj, in the very poor, are implemented for our law. The credit, I would say, of Dr. K. Kausaja Devi BDS, only I am going to remind you, I am here to remind you, you really deserve the credit, you own the credit only 50%. Because the parents, family, faculties, and this great institution is getting the next 50% of the credit. So you are going to slowly take over that 50% in the days to come with your commitment, hard work, sincerity, and you are going to own the degree 100% in years to come. Nearly 40 years ago, somebody here in a small town okay, looked at the importance of education and started this great institution. Okay, it was happening in big metros maybe, but to happen in a small place like this, it takes a vision uh, of years, a century ahead to have this impactful venture in addition to their main uh, vocation, business, whatever the family does. So it is justified that the output in the form of you going to implement that vision that was conceived 40 years ago in this small but great place of uh, town. So now from the student, you are becoming a professional. That's the greatest transformation in life. You, uh, other things are rotting, okay? Marriage, uh, career, job, uh, accommodating wealth, all this routine. All of us are going to do this. But this transformation is very, very personal. It is going to have an impact in your life, not only in your life, in the people around you. So I look at the Oxford Dictionary. What is a profession? Okay. The job is different uh, from a career and a profession. Profession definition is high level of training. Okay. So any, any with an organized way. So that you got it, the institution has provided all the facilities, parents have provided the environment, you have put your effort, so you have got qualified. So what is being a professional? Okay. So that, that's where the personal comes into the picture. Should be highly qualified, skillful, and executive. This is the best word to be a professional. The knowledge you have, the skill set you have, should be useful to make an impact to the society of people or beneficiary, whatever you want to call it. That's where you have to maintain the professional standard throughout your uh, lifetime practicing time. So this transformation, let us say, starts from today. It involves commitment on a long-term basis, ethical moral standards, and you've got to get a role play for your team. You have to carry the people at the team with you to implement, to impart the impact to the society. And you have to follow your system. It's not a very, very creative uh, field in the medical field. It's all done hundreds of years. A lot of people have put a lot of efforts. You are going to give the creative touch in more in the communications and minor things. The majority is already designed and the knowledge has been imported on you. So the, you have to follow your system. So all these put together, it makes a, a fine professional. Okay. See, originally, as per uh, literature, there's only three professions recognized, law, medicine, and teaching. Okay. But now, of course, a lot of other things have come into that. But Traditionally, these are the ones who are considered to be a, a profession. So what is this ethics and moral standards? So all of us do talk about it. Nannari, Ulukam, Aram, medical But for us, for a medical professional, it is a way of life. It's uh, essential in every day, in every step, in every decision you take. That's the thing, as a chief executive, as a financial consultant or a management consultant or an architect, they may take for 30, 40 major decisions a year. Whereas as a medical professional, you are you will be expected to take 30, 40 decisions a day. That's going to have an impact on the people sitting in front of you. So you have to ask the question, is it right or wrong? Okay. 
So if it is wrong, you will have to find a way to get it right. Okay, it's a process. That responsibility is with them. That accountability is with the profession. That's where it's going to be a bit different uh, compared to other businesses and other uh, jobs. Is it correct and acceptable? It may be a right decision, but there may be some parties involved, stakeholders, who may not be happy with the decision. They may be upset with the decision. That is up to you to convince them, to counsel them, or sometimes to confuse them to get your uh, uh, decisions process executed to the best ability. See, that's where a profession stands out compared to a, a salaried job fit. And then to summarize that, it is a personal behavior of an individual in a society. Okay. Before society, there is a gap. The society may be, the, the immediate society may be immoral, illegitimate, or greedy, or money oriented, or wrong, or slightly wrong. But there, we have to maintain our standards okay, to deliver your knowledge and skills in a very balanced way. That's how it's going to be. You have to be a righteous person. Okay? So that sometimes you may find it difficult. Okay. Uh Romba Garupa, Hanya, Tibura is Granam, Sila Tiger Slurama, Vandu, Aung convenience card. Nadia Kamala Sulva, Ama Gatha, Timur Sulana, Lakata so I don't know so that. You do a Keramia, you have a skill set and protect Pandra the day, correct patient and implement Pandra the day, and put in a compound with that. Are the negative epoch for the now? Now with the skills, knowledge, if you are fully skilled, knowledge of the good intention, okay, that becomes of he is a strict man, he is a righteous person, he will do the right thing. If you do not, if you are deficient in skills, knowledge, or deficient in intentions, that becomes government effort. It's a fine difference, but it's up to us to qualify all ourselves with a lot of knowledge and skills and make the right decision in a righteous manner and take the credit out of that. Okay. So what it takes, see, you have a salary job, you have a professional career. You get the salary, you do the job what you are expected to do and walk away. That's a job. Okay. Whereas in, in, when you're taking it as a career, it's a long term. Okay, you may be a uh, job today, you may be in a different job tomorrow, or 10 years you may go for some other job. But it's a series of jobs on a long term commitment, something more than what is expected of you, with a determination, commitment, long term goal, hard and sincere on a day to day basis. That's how a career is different from a job. So there is nothing like a minimum, uh, uh, maximum you are expected to do. You have to raise the bar yourself so that you can progress further and retire uh, in a satisfied note. And you need to have a personal ethics in a profession compared to a job. In a compared to a job, you can be creative, you can do something, rest of the life what you do, don't, don't care. Whereas in a professional, you are a professional 24 7, 365. You are expected to have an integrity, Honesty, fair, respect, and responsive. That's why bank will be easier to talk to the loan program. Yeah, now, all of us, almost all of us, have that personal ethics, integrity, loan program, uh, pay for It's not because of rich. That's why most of the bank managers would hesitate to give you a loan because we are uh, maintaining our professional standards. That is the personal ethics. I already touched upon this career versus job. See, all of us are salary, we need money, we need to be paid, we need working others, we need a, a job description, all that. The job and career are, uh, it's not a different thing. It's a more value, okay, multiple job on a long term commitment to do something more than what is expected of you with the passion in the heart, then it becomes a, and in a, in a designed system. Okay, you can't be totally a, Creative or a rogue, you design the system, then it becomes a career. That's the way it's different. You may change jobs, but the career goes on. Career goes on from today, it starts and it goes on till you till you uh, retire. Okay? So, professional career means committed work for a long time. Okay? Jobs may differ, but the commitment is there within you. The standard has to not coming from the management or the employer, it, it comes from within your own uh, It's a period of life, permanent calling, it's a way of life. That's how it's uh, different. 
The medical career is unique and different compared to other businesses or jobs or career. What way it is unique and different? Okay. After your schooling, so many of us would be wondering whether you should become a science graduate or an arts graduate or a business graduate. Okay. I can very clearly say a medical career is a conglomeration of all two, all these three. These are the three big uh, uh, divisions in the knowledge and the job or a career. And you need to have skills, practice and executiveness to deal with all these three components of a human mind. Science, you have been important with a lot of knowledge, uh, skills you have and well, you are going to continue to increase that. Where the arts comes from is, you have taken a decision, you have to implement with, uh, for the benefit of the majority. For that, you need to be, you can't only scientific, write your decision, throw the paper and go away. No, you have to make sure it gets implemented. It may be a root canal treatment or giving a prosthesis, what is necessary for them. As a professional, we decide, but you have to make them to understand, let them understand and ask for it. That's where the arts and communication and the soft skills are there. Some of my uh, friends who are extremely good doctors, medalists, they're not able to really go up in their career purely because they, they lack in the communication soft skills to take the people around, to convince the people, to counsel the people. The successful professional has to be equally good in this artistic touch in dealing with the uh, people. Next is the business. Business is not a bad word. Okay? Business is a very, very good word. Mankind is our main business. We need to look after that mankind. You need to look after the 32 uh, teeth for the 7 billion population for their uh, lifetime. Okay? So that's a business. That's a commitment. You need a strategy. You need a plan. You need a project data report. You need an investment. You have to make sure that everybody is taken care of financially, economically and the career wise. So all these three put together only is going to uh, make a successful medical career. I'm sure all of you are going to do that. What way is different from other careers? Okay? Everybody has got a career, okay? So a real estate fellow or a dobi or a tailor, everybody works, okay? It's not that we are very uh, superior to them. We are only has to be different from them with a more with more standards with the system and the morals and ethics. We are not superior to anybody, okay? The delivery you make, they make you to feel superior, they may feel superior, but we never should uh, think or feel ourselves we are superior to uh, uneducated or illiterate. No, no way, okay? The dobi, the tailor, the medicine are important, essential to the society as much as uh, a medical person, a dental person, okay? But what way we are coming to ourselves for a different uh, standard or a difficult uh, standard. So the definition of success in medical career is unique. Okay. In other careers, it's money. Okay. I made uh, the projects. I did uh, 72 projects. I uh, did a uh, big buildings. Um, I made uh, 100 crores of uh, turnover. All that. Majority of the success is decided by the money. In the medical career, no money is definitely necessary, but not. That's the only goal, okay? Not money alone, not necessarily a, a doctor who made a, much more money is superior to the people who have made less money. As a matter of fact, uh, other way around, who are doing the rural basic uh, medical dental care, I feel they are more superior to the uh, high tech surgeon sitting in the metro hospital. And how you are going to measure the success of your own career, okay? Definitely money is one, one part, but that's not everything. Not your own happiness. Okay, somebody coming in with a, a broken leg or with a very, very painful tooth and you make them better, you, you cannot say I'm happy about it. No, because there's somebody who is suffering. Okay, you have to derive satisfaction out of their happiness. Okay, customer not a we should never feel uh, happy about somebody is being sick. Okay? That, that does not uh, really, uh, in, in empathy, it does not uh, translate into a uh, good behavior. Okay? Satisfied. Okay, he came with a very bad pay, I got it better. Okay, thanks for the opportunity. You take your fees for that. So you, you are not supposed to feel outwardly happy about what you have achieved. They should feel happy and you derive a 
Thirupti or get satisfied in our company. It's very easy to say, but sometimes we may sort of become extrovert. I mean, okay, you go to your night in the, when you chat with your friends, you may be happy that I have done something. But in front, in the society, so you are in the society all the time, we are supposed to be content and satisfied. Empathy, okay, this is to look at somebody's problem from their point of view. Their priority is no way less than my priority. Okay, see, so I may be very tired, okay, or I cannot be paid well for the job. These two things, no, we should not come into your consideration. He is in pain, he needs something uh, urgent, he needs something expensive. What I am going to do about that? So that's what called empathy. So that, uh, this is, these are the three unique and different uh, aspects of the uh, career. So okay, if I want to Samudaya Patiti Pesano, Marathi Vaturaya Patiti Pesano, but now the personal career, okay, each person sitting here, you have to fit in, you have to dream, you have to put a plan for next 50 years, where you are going to uh, space yourself, space yourself and face yourself. In the other one, which you are going to have to go on the other one. In the other one, you have to ask this question yourself for the next two, three years. It will take that length of the time for you to understand the career, profession, industry, uh, family, financial departments, all that. So you ask yourself, what space I want to be, where I want to be at the age of 40, 45, and how I can do it, how quickly I can do it. These two questions, you first ask yourself, you'll find the answer. You'll get the answer from all the faculty, friends, the seniors, they're all going to provide the answer. But first, you should ask yourself and to find an answer what you want to do. So I like to broadly divide in a medical career. You can be a specialist, okay, once you are qualified, you are a specialist, or you can be an expert, or you can be an academician. Okay, now in academy you can uh, add management also because uh, it comes uh, uh, to work. Specialist is something what you are already on. Okay, you are qualified, you are a dentist, so what you are going to uh, do that? And you can go set up your own clinic and uh, do, uh, do the practice for the rest of the life. You don't need to specialize. No way you are inferior to an MDS. That you should believe in yours not the society. Okay. Next becomes an expert. There is a joke to say what is the definition of an expert is to know more and more about less and less till you know everything about nothing. Okay, that's that's a joke, but almost it is going to that level. So you feel happy where you are. Academics uh, guys who are there to impart the knowledge every year repeatedly for the same set of ideas to make them more uh, knowledgeable. That, that's a, a double profession, okay? It's a medical career plus you are uh, teaching. And now, as uh, you are an MD mentioned, you don't need to be a traditional doctor sitting in one room for 14 hours a day, wait for the patients to come or do that. Now, the 20, now 2022, I can say this very loud and clear. Maybe 20 years ago, it wouldn't have been accepted. You can be a part-time profession. You don't need to be a, a full-time professional all the time, all of us. There may not be even enough space, there's enough or more dentists in Kannada, uh, I suppose. So you can go for a teaching, you can go for a designing, actually you can sit here and uh, design something for uh, a patient in Melbourne. So many options are available. Or you can go for your family business also. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. If you have a well-running family business, you can support your family in the evenings. Morning 8 to 2, you'll be a professional, then you can go for that. Maybe this was uh, not accepted as a second years ago, but now in the days to come, you you can be that way. You can be a part-time uh, professional. By definition, you, uh, you're not, not supposed to be, but practically happening, it is going uh, that way. And to look after the family business, whatever it is, as a part-time professional and family business is very much welcome, required for the society. Parents have put a lot of efforts in 50 years, 60 years to build up a, a particular uh, enterprise. So there is no, nobody to look after. That's the commonest uh, 
complaint uh, from the parents who have educated their children. So you may be you not agree with it. You, you don't need to hesitate to make a, a combination. Next, this is my one second topic if you want to listen. Okay, kudos to the career home. So what is the toughest job in the world? The toughest job in the world. Okay, so homemaker. Okay, being a doctor, engineer, scientist, data, any, any, some big and open super carry can do it. It's just a question of somebody can do it in five years, they can take six, seven years. To be a complete homemaker, okay, so you have to great lady sitting here, it's the most difficult job. It's the most difficult job in the earth. That's why uh, our culture, our progress is being retained in our uh, society. Okay, so. So women are very, very special, particularly when you choose to take a career. So you are going to balance two toughest things in the world, special uh, appreciation to you. And you need a lot of um, self-confidence in yourself. You are very special. Don't try to compare uh, with the men. Men are half the time they are useless fellows. They can do half the things fantastic. Others are useless. They cannot make a coffee. They cannot uh, room the cake the room clean. They cannot uh, interact with the children better. They are getting better, but still long, long way to go. So, only what is the greatest civilization thing happened in the civilization is the family unit. Okay, not dentistry, not orthopedics, not artificial intelligence. Family unit. Okay, so that can be maintained. Okay, you call me feminist or whatever it is, can be maintained only by women. Okay, I have no hesitation in that. Uh, uh, so, you, you guys, uh, you girls have decided, stepped out with your uh, uh, parents, particularly mommy's help, to deal with the two toughest things in the world. One is a very um, tough medical, competitive medical career, other is uh, this thing. So you have to prioritize yourself right from the young age. Uh, a woman are at least five years more uh, mature than men. Okay, that's, that's across the board, it's true, across the country it is true. So you are designed for far, far, far superior things. Okay, try to make more complete uh, things. You derive the model from your sisters, your seniors, okay, all across in this country. Please don't go to the Western model. Kudumba Mukar or this is the last thing to be with the One of the reasons Madam asked me why did you come back from England? And Kudumba Mukar or this is the Katamar the wife of the Asinka Purti. Random, random. I am a Kalachari, Kalachari, Europe, in the YouTube, the Poya, or Velaka. ஒரு <laughs> From family point of view, uh, okay, please, and only you can do that. Uh, already so that uh, person that wants to study it, okay, sports, okay, you can do it. But what I told you, all the doctor are okay. But putting on all the board, na, it's only woman, only you can do it. Please take up the responsibility. So if the worker, uh, you know, so what actually moves the three and three and so that the partner the woman that are working on, okay, I'm very biased. But I'm happy to announce the time bias. Okay. So we all need money. Who doesn't want money yet? Everybody needs money. But how do you make that money? That is where the uh, dynamo comes. Okay. As a medical professional, you are interested in good outcome or intervention you do. The patient you do. Nana outcome of income automatically. As a customer is happy, more happy, you will get this. Don't bother, don't chase after money. Then you will be chasing till you die. Okay. So you have to enjoy the money. Uh, that was money should be a byproduct of the work you do on it. Okay. You do that properly, money will automatically follow. You keep the money under control. Okay. Or else money will uh, control you. Then there is no limit for that. You will never be satisfied in your life. You may push yourself into a very stressful zone or uncomfortable zone. 
to make a career progress, to make money. Nothing wrong with that. Of course, we all have to do that. But never be there in an unhappy zone for long time to make money. Because you are not happy, the money is that you are also not going to make happy because you need more money. So that's the difference between uncomfortable stressful zone to the unhappy zone. Never, never, it's not worth being in the unhappy zone for a long time. So being already touched upon it, be satisfied in your day-to-day -day life. Day-to-day -day life is everything. At the end of seven years, we know there are only ICUs and the tubes through all the uh, no, medical problems are awaiting. You won't have any control over the money you earn, over your body, over your family. Okay? So life is like a journey. As you go along, you make use of it. Keep the surroundings happy. These, all these people are happy. I am happy. So consciously make small efforts to make people around you happy. Mind your subordinates. Okay? So the, the superior they are happy if you do the job properly. No problem. But the subordinates can keep them happy. You will be happy on a daily basis. At least 300 days in a year you should be happy and satisfied every year right from this year. Okay. So we are living in a society. The family is the core unit. But the people around us, the environment around us, make it as a civilized society. Okay, Nyaya Mana, Nanaya Mana, Gadi Mana, or Samuda Yutana, Namala Nanapuria Malapuno, Amal Kadik, the generation Nama, Tamil Pandro, Namapuri, Namaka, Portable, Namana, we are bringing the children into the society. So, certainly, it is essential work to make some efforts to make our immediate society as a more civilized society. These are all the famous quotes. Place to live should be one of the best places to live. If it is not, you are one of the reasons. Try to go on correct. Okay. Gandhi Jesus told us, be the change. You want a change? You be the change. The others will follow. Okay. Don't try to go on preaching with what other people should do. And uh, from Velvanda Ji said, when you point a finger at somebody, three fingers are pointing to myself. Only one is to the other person. So we need to make uh, a contribution three times if you want to change other person. It's all very philosophical words, but you have to practice that in a day to day. And Abdul Kalam said, okay, in a way, how you um, sell, uh, value the society's growth, okay, GDP, uh, all that, a lot of economical indicators are there. But that some of my many things we don't understand that. But one thing we all should know on a regular basis, what the top 20% of the society contribute to the development of the bottom 20% on a regular basis. That makes a civilized society. Okay. So we all know that we are already in the top 2, 3, 5% of the society by this qualification, by the position you have been uh, conferred on. So make sure the uh, downtrodden is being paid in a small way on a regular basis. Definitely, it's make a better society. So, finally, to sum it up, if you think you are a hero, you are a hero. Are you all heroes? Yes. Okay. So, the whole world is there. The playground is waiting for you. Go out, score runs on a regular basis, score goals on a regular basis. Enjoy your wonderful journey called life. There's nothing at the end of life, I'll tell you. Uh, life is there as you go along. Go enjoy yourself. Thank you very much for coming. I thank Dr. Sukhanam sir. Thank you for all the insights you have given us. It's time to celebrate all the hard work that led to this joyful occasion. Now, let's begin the celebration of the 31st graduation ceremony. I request our respected chief guest, Dr. C. Sukhanam sir, chairperson madam, managing director sir, principal sir, to confer the graduates. Graduates are requested to come one by one to receive their degrees. Parents, please be here.
first on stage is Dr. Marshall John Vialipa.
Skąd to pochodnia? Thank you. 
नेक्स्ट टाइम स्टेज इस इसका मैं ज़्यादा सी बात
the diaries, art to dentistry, as well as science, and the warm, sympathy, and understanding me outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say, I know not. Nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for the patient's well-being. I will respect the privacy of my patients for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially, must I treat with care in matters of life and death. If it is given to me to save your life, all thanks. But it may also be within my power to take a life. This awesome responsibility must be faced with the great humility and awareness of my own frailty. Above all, I must not play at God. I will remember that I do not treat a decayed tooth or cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems. If I am to care adequately for the sick, I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, the sound of mind and body, as well as the people. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and all. Respected while I live. And remember with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling. And may I long experience the joy of being those who see my help. Thank you. So this oath should not be an ad or in words or in the paper, it should be followed in your life, in all your practices. On behalf of our management, Respected Chapter Sina, Respected Managing Director Sir, with the blessings of the Respected Principal, Vice Principal, CA faculty members, all the lecturers, on behalf of all the faculty members of JKK Dental College, we wish you very all the best, we wish you all the success, though we are practitioner or we are postgraduate student or an entrepreneur, whatever it is, you should be. Successful in your life and in the society, you should establish our institution's name, not only in the college, outside the college, in national as well as international level, with this positive words and blessings. I extend all the warm blessings and heartfelt thanks for your presence. I thank all the presence for your uh, parents for your presence for the graduation of your kids. Thank you. We request the graduates to shift the topic. From right to left, what is such a song with the energy? We know that most of the comments are from our vice principal of the institution to share any more options. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I thank uh, Dr. Sagaramza, our chief guest, for uh, giving and uh, spending time with us. As well as for his valuable advice. Uh, thank you, sir. I also extend my thanks to Mr. Sivanam, sir, for uh, spending time with us and uh, accompanying, sir, for coming to and validating our function. I thank 
our managing director sir, our chairperson madam, principal sir, HODs, and uh, buddy heroes, colleagues, you all know my colleagues, and uh, parents for attending the function and uh, making a grand success. Thank you all, all the best, guys. Thank you, Dr. Kamik, sir. Now, I request everyone to raise up for the national anthem. Thank you. Parents, kindly, uh, pick up your snack from the right side of the auditorium. The right side. 